I'm going to show you how to use your OSVR headset with any game and Steam games. You'll need a Steam controller for this to work. You need a couple programs and I'll show you how to get them and what to do. Um, so I'm going to use my OSVR headset to play Counter-Strike Source. So, first of all, you're, I'm using the OSVR headset. You need a program called Viero Perception, and it can be found at this website. Uh, this should be located in the comments. in the description. So we're going to go to the website and we're going to, if you don't use the link, it's located in the downloads and then Viero Perception and then we want to go to number three here and I downloaded this one. So you click download and you'll get a WinRAR file that you want to extract. So you take this folder and extract it somewhere on your computer. I've already done that. And it is right here. I'll open a new one to show you the actual steps I, I took to do it. So I'm going to take this, drag that into there. Close that. Open up Perception. Okay, you want to go to instructions and open up the live manual. When you click on it, it will take you to this website. And you want to look for this right here. The DLL Simlink installer. So we'll scroll down. And it's basically saying the old versions you had to copy the DLLs. This version comes with a program called Viero DLL Installer DXE, and it can be found in the Perceptions bin folder. And you need admin privileges to run it. So let's do that. Go into the bin folder and we find perception uh, DLL installer. And blah 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 blah. It will create the symbolic links to the DLLs in the target folder. To uninstall it, just repeat these this process again and it will ask you if you want to remove the, uh, the DLLs but since we're installing we just click OK then it comes up with the folder or the, the location that you want to install so I'm doing Steam Steam Apps Common Counter-Strike Global Offensive and we're looking for the EXE, the executable, so CSGO executable is found in the Counter-Strike Global Offensive folder. So when I click OK, it should, everything should, it should say installed. But if you get an error message saying the game cannot be found, then we have to edit a file. So let's go back to config and go to profiles XML and open with notepad plus plus and what I did is I took the default so I'll take the default one copy it paste change this to anything you want. I'm just going to name it CSGO. And then the launcher is the EXE, the executable. So I know it's called CSGO.EXE. 
and for game type 101 I found works with uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive um, the website uh, the manual it will tell you uh, how to set up some of the games that it that people have already set up for it and you'll go through and they'll tell you you know what to do and how to do it but I found and if there's a multiplayer and a single player EXE make sure you're picking the right one um, So, uh, the 101, if, if you need to know any of these game types, just go to the manual, and they should be in the manual. If not, go to the, the website, uh, the forums, and uh, you should get some help. But for all the Steam games, like uh, Half-Life 2, Portal 2, and all those the Valve engine games, Steam games, Valve games I should say, um, you need to add, it's roughly in the hundreds, all the other games you'll notice that they're a little different, but just put this and click save, now close it, see this is my one from my other folder, or, uh, from this perceptions one because it's the same thing I'm just showing you how to actually do it so this is actually this one here so you'll notice that it add, added all this other information after I've ran uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive uh, it basically takes that puts it to the end and adds all this stuff in between don't worry about all that it does that itself so as long as you change that CSGO CSGO and 101 and that's right there that should be good and you, it, it should be good to go so since I already have this one already set up I'm going to use this one you can go back to uh, the bin now when when you run this you should have no problem you won't get that uh, game not found message because it had to been added to the config and now it will be able to see the game and say okay now I know where you are and you won't have a problem so you go ahead install it and it'll say yep found Okay, good to go. It's installed properly. Um, after we've done that, uh, I use XPatter to emulate my Xbox 360 controller. You can use other similar programs. I found XPatter to work, so that's why I'm using in the tutorial. Um, here. Here's my layout for Counter-Strike Global Offensive. I walk around with this uh, joystick. Here I've mapped out uh, weapons, so you can quickly buy weapons. Um, my trigger to shoot, this is my secondary, my scope or my knife. Jump and reload. And you can map out more buttons, but I just have these ones mapped out, and it's good enough. So, once we have Viero installed and set up, XPatter ready to go and set up, now we should be able to um, load up the game. So, let's go over here. Make sure my Steam controller is turned on right now. Um, I'm just going to switch to my camera. So there we go. There's my camera. Here's my headset with the Steam controller sitting on top. 
and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna wear it fully I'm just gonna place it on my head just like so so I can still use my eyes to look around and I need to show you this way because um, it doesn't want to capture the game properly when I go to play it so let's run perception I did not run any other programs I am NOT running my VR Steam VR is not running and I'm not using any programs other than this program here now that it's running I'll switch back one second okay now that it, now that it's running it may open up and be disabled or side by side you want to scroll down and do the DIY rift one um, this one since there's no head tracking we just put no tracking because we're using the steam controller the gyro that's built into it uh, if we look here to my pictures see there's in game it when it splits screen there's my headset 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 maybe Oh, I thought there was more pictures. There are, I just didn't show them. So, uh, in s the Steam controller, you want to go into your gyro, the camera, right here. And you have to set it to always on. Because when it's always on, then when you... Uh, move the controller it, it actually moves the mouse so you mount the controller on top of the headset so when you move your head you're actually moving the mouse and it's ten times easier than actually using your hand to look around so here's some of the other settings so in here I click the legacy settings and then I think advanced came up or something but here's my settings for how I set up the controller and other than that uh, let's get to it checking yep my controllers uh, steam controllers on so this is running I'm gonna minimize it I'm gonna go back to my camera view and here we go I'm going to run the game and I'm using my Xbox controller see on the screen there's my mouse oh, there's my mouse yeah see it's working so, I'm um, going to open up Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and it will go into split screen. So, as soon as it goes in, you're going to notice on the screen right here, there's some green writing. And if I press Control q it's going to bring up a menu system. And uh, you can check out the menu by up and down arrow keys and then hit enter to go into the menu and to exit you press escape or control Q again but we don't need to worry about uh, that menu right now um, we're gonna join the game and as the loading bar finishes it's going to freeze but the game is still running so if you don't pay attention you're not going to get this to work the only way to get it to work is to hold the left alt and numpad four three times so i'm holding alt numpad four three times 
One, two, three. There. So this is me with the headset on. Well, it's actually on my head like this. And as I move my head around, I don't know if you can see this, but as I move my head around, it's moving in perfect timing. And if it's not, then you could go into your uh, Steam controller settings and, and fix it. So you walk around with your controller and you see it shoot. And obviously, I'm not playing right now. I'd have to have the headset on my eyes and standing up. Because when I'm standing up, I can actually turn my body, which turns the controller all the way around. So it feels much nicer while I'm standing up. Sitting down, you can turn in your chair and, and, and stuff, but it, it doesn't feel as natural. And you might get motion sickness actually sitting down. Because you actually have to turn corners. So when you're standing up, you actually have to turn your whole body just as if you were in real life. So if you're going down, down a hallway, you're not always pointing straight. You're eventually going to have to turn your body to, to go down the hallway. So this is just like um, being in the virtual world, but you, you have to use the controller to go forward. So I hope this helps. And if you have any problems, uh, message me or try to find me on Steam. My name is Sergeant Slaughter. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.